welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the first video. I hope it was helpful. And now let's move on to the second. So this is going to be kind of a demo of some best practices uh, for paperless debate. Now um, you see here I use a MacBook Air and an iPad. Now um, obviously these are not requirements. I seen debaters, um, one debater who actually was the one that showed me how to uh, utilize a tablet in paperless debate used a simple $40 tablet from Walmart. And um, there's, you know, you don't have to have Apple products to do this. Um, you can replicate this exactly the same on PC. Um, so obviously don't feel like you have to run out and put, on a t put down a ton of money on a MacBook and an iPad. So let's jump into this. So here you see I have a cord that runs from my computer to my iPad. Now this using the Microsoft Word app in iTunes will actually allow me to file transfer over without having to use Wi-Fi or anything like that. Also I have a flash drive in case my opponent has their own laptop they want to read off of. And I have this and I use this fun little tool called Dropbox to uh, wirelessly sync over my speech docs. Now we're prepared best case scenario. School has Wi-Fi, you connect both devices, and you have now wirelessly, um, you're able to wirelessly um, share your speech doc to your iPad and to then show to the judge or your competitor. Um, worst case scenario, the opponent doesn't have a viewing laptop, you don't have Wi-Fi, we're still able to transfer file, files over. So let's jump into this a little bit. So you see here, I'm gonna have my speech.doc. Now this has to be a specific name. Um, speech.docs and that's so that this tab on verbatim if you don't have verbatim or anything like that um, please go watch my other video it's a great walkthrough on how to install everything you need to be able to debate paperless but here's a send to speech and so we're gonna flip over here you're gonna want to have your file open now here's my old affirmative from the 2014-2015 LD topic um, it's entitled Dr. Evil is about space lasers pew pew okay so let's say let's the first let's do it first um, wirelessly. So I'm gonna open this up here. So you see here in my folder I have my own tub um, for debate in our in our school's Dropbox, and I have my speech.doc there. So say I want to send one card over. I'm gonna go ahead and click that arrow. Then I'm gonna go ahead and flip here like so. And now this is on here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit file, save. Don't save changes. And I'm gonna go to my iPad here. Now you see I didn't open up iTunes or anything, so this is being done. So hard to look through my iPhone while I'm trying to do my iPad. That's done completely wirelessly. So now here you see we're going to my tub. I'm gonna click on we're gonna refresh. See it says modified 21 seconds ago. And I'm on Wi-Fi right now that's like two megabytes per second down. So it updates pretty fast even on not that great Wi-Fi. And here we go, you see here, on here, and on here. So now, if I was gonna hand this to my opponent, I'm gonna double tap the home button three times. One, two, three. It's gonna turn on guided access. Now you can turn on guided access in the accessibility um, sections and what this basically allows you to do is to disable the the home button and basically ensures that you can't get out of the app so for instance right now i'm in dropbox but they they have to put in a passcode to access the rest of my ipad which means you don't really have anything to worry about privacy wise things like that um, if you're using your personal devices uh -oh. All right, hold on, I'm gonna my passcode. Okay, so now we're back to here, this screen now. My iPad, this is an iPad 2. Um, I picked it up a couple years ago. Um, I think they go about 120 bucks now. And I have Microsoft Office on here. It's the most, you know, so I'm saying you can run this on older hardware. So now let's say that I did this, but I don't have Wi-Fi, so now I'm gonna show you how to get it to the iPad there. So you're gonna go to iTunes. You're gonna make sure that your cable's connected here to this other USB port. 
Oh, you see, yes, Pitch Perfect and Lame is great movies. Anyway, I'm gonna click on my iPad and we're gonna go to apps. And here's, you go all the way down, there's a section called um, file sharing. So, what we can do here is you see where it says Microsoft Word? We can add a document to it. So I'm going to go, I have a shortcut on my desktop to my tub. So I'm going to add. Now, obviously, like before the round actually starts, you're not wasting prep time. You want to know like what, if you have Wi-Fi, if you have um, like a viewing laptop or whatever. So now it's there. We'll go over to the iPad. And we see here, bam, we have our speech doc. And it's trying to open another dock. So, oh. Gosh dang it. Okay, now we open our speech dock. And it's here. And then you can once again triple click to guide access. And then triple click to get out of it. And that's one way. Now, obviously the easiest way um, if your opponent has a viewing laptop is to simply go ahead and hit copy on your speech doc and then for some reason it's opening up here copy to your flash drive click on this Eject your drive, take out your flash drive, and hand it to your opponent. Now let's talk a little bit, bit more. So that's more for sharing documents. Now, in terms of actually debating, you see here I only have one card um, highlighted in my entire app because this is an old app and I didn't feel like going back highlighting. So we're going to use this really cool feature called View. Turn on invisibility mode in verbatim. And as you can see here, this is a really big document. I think it's about 80 pages, so um, it, it takes a minute to do this. So you get this notification that it's on. We'll scroll back up here. So great, here it is. So this is just the highlighting, as you can see. You still get the tag, the site, but you get these highlight the, the highlights. Now, to check out Reading View, and go here, click leading view. It's gonna full screen it. We'll scroll back up and makes it really, really easy. Just get up here and read and it's nice and big. This is a 13 inch MacBook, but I'm able to see this fine with the standard 11 point font and everything. Um, and so this is just kind of um, some of my thoughts on the best practices of papers debate. Um, like I said, you can replicate all this with a PC. The um, in, in some ways, it can almost be easier, um, especially with like an uh, say like a cheap Android tablet and a you know a PC because you actually have a, a USB and everything. Um, but if you have Apple products, it works fine too. So yeah, it the biggest tip I can say is to practice, practice, practice because that's how you. Um, limit the amount of prep time you're actually wasting on uh, switching these things over. I find that Dropbox is the fastest because I can go, I I can transfer a whole doc, you know, in like 10, 15 seconds, hand it over and I'm not wasting um, much of my precious prep time. So um, yeah, feel free to comment below um, or subscribe. Um, I'll try to respond to any questions or anything and I hope this was kind of helpful. Um, and I hope that this just kind of shows you a little bit about paperless debate. Thanks, guys.